right, secret number seven, pre-close intention. When you're doing your presentations, you need to be able to set the pre-close. Set the intention that you are going to get a referral, that you're going to ask for that referral. Because, you know, like I said, a lot of people are not willing to ask. Well, then don't ask right away, but set the tone that you're going to ask sometime today. That's your job. If you cannot literally see the future, then you can't predict what you want. So you set the pre-close intention, all right? Doctor, my goal is to get your parents, or this is actually for, let's say, you're, you're marketing to a, you know, a patient's daughter. You know, my goal is to get your parents on our services and begin getting the care that they need. And then you add a date by this date. Mr. Smith. My goal is to be able to get your parents on our services and begin getting the care that they need by today. My goal, doctor, is to get your patients on our services before they even get discharged to their homes. We will begin taking care of you now. So remember I told you guys about scripts. These are scripts that we actually have, that we expect people to say, that we expect people to have. somewhere, And this is normally going to be said approximately the first three minutes of a presentation. Listen, the moment you sit down, and these are things that should be added in your presentation. They should be said, because remember, we're setting up the pace. We're setting up what we call future pacing, <laughs> but you know that I am going to get your referrals, that I'm not scared to ask for a referral from you. So that is one of the biggest techniques you guys have to have.